today I have another outfit video for you all. I have put together a week's worth of autumn transitional outfits. So I have seven very cute, very pink and girly outfits for fall. At least where I live, we aren't fully in the fall weather yet. I know technically it is autumn already. So I tried to put together outfits with layers that can be taken off or put on depending on the weather where you live. I am gonna use some of the pieces that I bought in my recent haul, my Abercrombie and Loft haul. So if you haven't seen that video, I will link it down below for you in case you're interested. I am not someone that loves the fall season. I love Christmas, but I get a little sad when summer ends and so finding cute outfits are my way to cope with that basically. And I really, really love these outfits that I've put together. I also wanted to let you know that in a couple weeks, I'm going to do an autumn winter haul week. So for a full week, I'm gonna put up a video every day with hauls from different brands and just showing you what their autumn collections for this year look like and how I would style them, what pieces I like, what pieces I don't. So get excited for that. That is going to be the last week of October that goes into the first couple days of November so put that in your calendar but yeah I think let's just get right on into the outfits and here is the first outfit we are starting off very strong with probably the most basic outfit for me for autumn and fall so I have this really nice knit turtleneck with a little tiny bit of sparkle detail on the shoulder I don't know if you can see from here but it has these tiny little pearl buttons on the shoulder and then of course our flare sleeve with a tweed skirt and white boots. I can pretty much wear a variation of this outfit every single day in autumn. I just think it is the cutest, girliest outfit ever. I love the 60s style of the boots. If you do not have a pair of white knee-high boots, you need some. I'll leave a couple options below. These are from Zara a couple years ago, but I'm actually considering buying a new pair from Sam Edelman because these are getting just a tiny bit too worn out, but I just love this outfit so much. So the top is from ASOS. I need to look up to see which exact brand it is off of ASOS. And then the skirt is And Other Stories. And Other Stories always has the nicest options for tweed skirts. They always fit so, so well. I do find that they can run a tiny bit short, but I think I think the short look is really cute for this outfit, especially with the knee-high boots. And then I just have it paired with my Tory Burch pink bag. I really stick to neutrals in the fall and my neutrals are white, brown, and pink. <laughs> so you'll see that pretty much throughout this entire video. I think that's the easiest way to look nice in fall. And it can be hard in fall because I feel like a lot of people only wear black, but there are still nice options out there. And I think this is a perfect one. You could of course layer a little jacket it over this when it does get a little colder outside but I think this is the perfect introduction into fall ensemble. Okay next up we have some of the new pieces in my wardrobe that I got from my haul. So these are both from Loft, this brown turtleneck and then this brown skirt. I love these two together. If you saw that video I was a little unsure if I should keep the brown top or not but I think it looks so so cute with this skirt. I styled it very preppy like and I think it looks adorable. So I just tucked the short sleeve top into the skirt and I think they look so, so nice together. I love this flounce hem on the skirt. I'm so happy I kept both of these pieces. I think that, again, the top is very 60s style and just very, very cute. Over top, I tied this white chunky knit cardigan from Abercrombie. I've just been loving the look of a tied cardigan recently. I think it looks so preppy and I love that for fall and winter. I also, style this with probably my most preppy shoes, which are these little Sam Edelman sling back heels that I got from Nordstrom during the anniversary sale. Love them. They're so, so comfortable. I have gotten so much wear out of these shoes, more than I even thought I was going to. I have a video of when I bought them when I went shopping and I said that most people probably wouldn't like them because they're a little grandma-esque. And I still think that, but I really, really like them. And they're actually still on sale. They never took off the discount after the anniversary sale. So if you have been thinking about getting these shoes, I would suggest getting them. The closed toe is so cute. I have this weird thing about wearing open-toed shoes in the winter, and I just feel like that's one of those fashion rules that got stuck in my head from a young age that I just can't let go of. So I do love that these are closed toe and they look very cute with this outfit. I have my chunky necklace on underneath the cardigan because I thought it kind of looked cool with this outfit. I also wanted to show you what it would look like 
with the cardigan just actually on because this cardigan is so so cute this is from Abercrombie like I said and it has these big pearl buttons which I love I think having the cardigan on gives it a little bit different of a look but I love buckling just the top button of a cardigan and leaving the rest open again I think that's so chic I just love this outfit so much and I love that you can see the chunky necklace underneath the sweater but it's not the focus of the outfit I really loved my big chunky necklaces this summer and I was wondering how I could transition that into fall and I think this is really cool because you can just see a little bit of pink of it but you can't see the whole thing which I think is kind of fun I think this outfit would be perfect for a brunch out with the girls. I feel very warm in this because of the double layer of the shirt and the cardigan plus the skirt is made of a really nice wool material so I don't think I would be cold. You could always wear over the knee boots if you needed a little extra coverage and then of course another jacket on top of the outfit if you needed those layers when it gets colder during the winter but I think for a little transitional outfit this is perfect. If you're going out in the morning it's a little colder you have it like this. Maybe you're staying out through the afternoon and it warms up a little bit you can take the cardigan off and tie it around your shoulders and you are all set for the day. For this next outfit, we have another new staple in my wardrobe, these pink Abercrombie jeans. I wanted to give you all at least one pants outfit because even though I don't wear pants very often, I know that's impractical for some people. And so I wanted to give you at least one jeans look and I love these Abercrombie pink jeans. I think they are so, so cute. We're going very full pink and white for this outfit and I'm loving it. It is my perfect color palette for an outfit. Again, and I feel like this outfit is perfect for this time of year where it's not cold just yet or it's not super cold just yet but you still want to dress like it's full and I think this is outfit is perfect for that because even though it is short sleeve this top is knit and I think adding those textures and those fabrics can be a really easy way to bring a couple of fall pieces into your wardrobe before it's cold enough to wear your full knit sweaters so i love this top it's from revolve and it is so so cute the puff sleeves are perfect because i actually have a bit of a love-hate relationship with puff sleeves. If they're too puffy, I think they're extremely unflattering, but this tiny little puff is the opposite. I think the tiny puff just really gives a nice statement feminine look without being too over the top. And then for my bag, I chose my Sandro pink tweed bag. I love this thing. This very quickly becomes my everyday bag for fall and winter because of the fabric. I don't feel like I can wear it as much in the summer because it is that tweed boofly fabric but I think it goes perfectly with this outfit all the colors are together if you saw my video where I got these jeans I was talking about how I wasn't sure if these were really long enough and I still feel that way but I did pair them with these pink ballet flat heels and I think the length is fine if I could have had them a little bit longer I would have gotten them but I think it still looks really cute and I think the ballet flat really just pulls everything in together but I am someone that likes to have a little bit of height to my shoes pretty much at all times I don't think that I look the best in flat footed shoes but yes I think this outfit is so so cute you could always add a belt for a little extra accessory a big necklace I just have some pearl earrings on pearl earrings is what I pretty much wear every single day so I thought it'd be cute with this outfit. I just feel like this is the perfect casual yet put together outfit and I love it. Okay, next up we have something a little bit outside of my comfort zone, at least style wise. The color palette is obviously very me because it's completely pink, but I never wear maxi dresses or maxi skirts in the winter, but I think this is actually very pretty and sophisticated. So I have this pink skirt from J. Crew. It has this really, really nice pleat detail, which I think gives it a little extra something. I know a lot of people like to pair those kind of like slim fitting satin skirts in the winter, but I never find that those look very good on me. I think the flowiness of this one is really nice when not being like a full on, you know, ball gown skirt, but I think it looks really pretty. And then this sweater is an eyelash sweater, which I know people have <laughs> differing opinions on, but I think they're so soft and comfy. I love them. This one is from Aritzia and I really love it. And then I paired it with a little tiny pink furla bag, which if you've watched any of my videos, you've probably seen this bag because I love it and then just a pair of nice nude heels and I just think this outfit is very mature but in a good way not mature where you look 
older than you're supposed to be but I just feel very classy I think that's what I'm looking for I feel very classy in this outfit and I know I'm very covered up but again that's perfect for fall and winter especially when it gets a little colder outside because the more covered you are <laughs> the warmer you'll be and I definitely tend to go for fashion over function when it comes to being warm in the winter even though I'm a very cool natured person I just prefer to look cute but I still feel very cute in this dress without having to be you know showing all of my leg so I think this is very very nice I paired it with my tennis necklace to give it a little tiny bit of sparkle again a little bit outside of my comfort zone but I feel like that's good it's always good to evolve your style and I think this was a win especially for people who work in a more formal office setting this would be perfect for a day at the office because it is very comfortable because of the soft eyelash sweater because of the very flowy skirt but again you're still very appropriately dressed for the office I don't work in an office anymore but I used to and I would have have totally worn this to the office and obviously if you wanted to wear it to the office you could totally switch the um, stiletto heels out for a flat or a lower kind of chunkier heel and yeah I think this is very very nice let me know what you all think next we have another one of my favorite outfits to wear during fall and winter and that is a matching tweed set the amount of matching sets that I have to wear in the fall and winter honestly the entire year I just love a matching set is amazing but I love love this one from Derek Lamb. I just think it is so so cute. I don't wear a lot of gray this set in particular. I do love the gray. I love the pattern of it. It actually has a tiny bit of blue thread running through which I think kind of makes the gray pop a little bit. I don't really pay attention to the blue because I am <laughs> wearing it with pink and little pink shoes. I'm wearing those same ballet flats that I was wearing with the jeans but I love this set so so much. Throwing on a set is the easiest way to look put together quickly because you don't have to think about it. You know that these two go together because they're literally the same fabric. You throw a top on underneath and you're set to go. Okay for our sixth outfit we have such a fun ensemble. I just love this so much. So this is a River Island jumpsuit that I bought years ago and I love this thing. They always have something similar to this so I'll definitely be able to find a couple options for you. I also think this would be really cute with a tweed jumpsuit or pinafore. I just saw a tweed pinafore that I think was on Zara's new collection. I'll try to find it, link it below, but I just think this is so fun. I love pairing a light turtleneck underneath of a jumpsuit for winter, and then of course the knee-high white boots. So 60s, how many times have I said that? But I just love that style for fall and winter, and I think this is such a fun outfit. Obviously this is leaning a little bit more on the side of early fall because this isn't the warmest outfit in the world, but but I just think it's so fun. And actually, I need one little final touch. I just feel like this outfit needs a cool pair of sunglasses to finish it off. Are you kidding me? I love this. These are my key sunglasses in, I think the style is narrow down. No, it's yada yada. The style is yada yada. And I think these look so cute with this outfit. How fun would this be for a nice, early fall, shopping day out, go to the mall with your girlfriends. Obviously you'll be super comfortable in this. Anytime I wear this jumpsuit with something underneath of it, I get so many compliments. I wear this jumpsuit without anything underneath in the summer, but I never get comments on it until I wear it in the winter with these boots, with a turtleneck underneath. And I just think people love the 60s look. It's something different. Maybe it's not super trendy or super popular, but I think people can appreciate that vintage style. And I just really love this outfit. The romper has a really nice detail where it kind of cuts across. So it looks more like a skirt in the front and then it's full on shorts in the back. It ties in the back so it really cinches in your waist right here, which I love. I think it gives the romper a very nice silhouette. I think that's a really flattering detail on a lot of people is they have something really tucked in at the waist and then maybe a little bit more flared out on the bottom. I love these little pocket details. Oh, my pocket's inside out. I love the pocket details. I feel like it gives it a little bit of kind of a cargo style look, but it still looks really fun and girly. Let me grab a bag too. I love that I'm just grabbing things as I go, but I think this outfit needs a pink bag. Just the extra little feminine girly touch. Sandro bag again. Love this thing. I'm sure you all see it plenty of times throughout this season, but yeah. 
love this outfit. And last but not least, I had to do a fancy formal look for you all because there is nothing I love more than getting dressed up. And I just think this is the ideal early fall dress. So this is a beautiful dress from Revolve. It is this really pretty plum color. I have a couple of autumn winter pieces in this kind of plum dark burgundy color and I think it's really nice to diversify my wardrobe a little bit because I do have so much cream in my autumn winter wardrobe so it's nice to have darker alternatives that also aren't brown because I wear a lot of brown too. These flutter sleeves are so so darling. It has this really pretty tie detail at the back which I of course went for a bow with. I think it's so girly and feminine but perfect for the season. Again very tucked in at the waist with that nice little flare skirt. What can I say? We love a fit and flare in this household. I have paired it with my nice studded heels and then I forgot my bag but I paired it with my Zach Posen little mini bag with the pearl strap. I am obsessed with this purse and I bring it out a lot during autumn winter. I think the color is perfect. It's definitely more of a neutral kind of dusky pink but the pearl strap just makes it so so fancy and I absolutely love this outfit. It is perfect for a ballet, a Broadway show, any sort of event you're gonna have during the fall this is what you need to wear to it. And let me show you a coat option as well. A trench style coat is gonna be your best friend for these early fall days because it gives you that warmth that you need without being too too heavy. Those kind of heavy woolen pea coats can be a little too much for this time of year but a trench style coat is absolutely perfect for this. I have the belt off right now but it has a belt that you can kind of cinch yourself in at the waist you can close it up and this is just the perfect evening coat. I unfortunately cannot link this exact one because I have had this coat since middle school. <laughs> middle school me was very sophisticated with our coat options but I actually found the nicest alternative to this coat last night that I'm going to link for you. I'm very tempted to buy that coat too because it's a little tiny bit different because it's a boucle fabric so it will be a little bit warmer than this one but I just love a dress coat so much. I feel like people skip out on having dress coats in their wardrobe and then you end up having to wear a more casual coat to a more formal event because you just don't have anything and I obviously never want to be that person who's underdressed so I'm really tempted to buy that other dress coat too. It has that same black piping detailing which I love. I think that's what makes this coat so statement but it's in this really pretty pink boucle fabric and I just feel like I need that one too because this one is a tiny bit too light for a more winter occasion. I feel like that would be the perfect alternative for that so I'm definitely gonna link that one down below in case y'all are interested. I had to end off with a bang with a beautiful cocktail dress because I truly believe everyone needs a nice autumnal cocktail dress in their repertoire. And that is going to be it for today's video. Tell me how you liked the outfits. I think they're very, very cute. I can't wait to wear them out this autumnal season. Tell me which one was your favorite. And I will try to link everything that I can down below. If anything that I showed wasn't linkable, I'll try to find an option for you. I think that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.